Good afternoon and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Ford Transit Connect walk around video. But before we do get started, if you were to hit on the subscribe button, that will mean you will never miss a minute of my content ever again. And that for a Tuesday is awfully exciting. This here is a magnetic grey Ford Transit Connect Active LWB, so it's a long wheelbase vehicle. This vehicle features the 1.5 litre Eco Blue engine that produces 100 PS of power and that is transmitted through a 6 speed manual gearbox. That means it's a Euro 6.2 compliant vehicle, a ULES compliant vehicle and everything in between. The vehicle is registered on A72 registration, meaning we'll take Ford warranty with us until January 2026. And let me, let me tell you, this is a low mileage vehicle, 186 miles on the dashboard. So what I need you to do is sit pretty, sit tight, and let me walk you around this lovely Transit Connect from the comfort of wherever you might be watching this video from. First point, near side rear, near side front bumper, get the remote central lock in out my pocket, click on the unlock button, and that will return back to my pocket. These are daytime running lamps and they give you the ultimate visibility no matter the lighting condition. Even like today, the brightest of sunshine, you can easily still see them. They are currently flashing in your video simply because the frequency in which my camera records that, but let me assure you everybody, they're not flashing, it's not a strobe light upgrade, they're just giving you some good visibility. There you are, they're off now. Inside the headlamps there we have the Xenon headlights and just below they're complemented with front fog lights. We have the lovely active styling in the front grille there and it's a black in colour. Lovely fan of the magnetic grey and the black combination. As we come around the bumper, we come to the first of four, obviously, 17-inch uh, machine-cut alloy wheels. So the machine-cut bit means you have a nice silver shiny face with a gloss black just behind there as well. The tyres are Goodyear tyres and are only doing 186 miles of work. They're like new. Equally, we have the silver painted brake caliper. Uh, really setting it apart it looks lovely with the, the solid silver on the on the wheels as well so silver painted brake calipers guys looking up looking up looking up quickly into the windscreen that little dome thing there is a light sensor the sun goes down the moon comes up and your lights come on automatically further north once more we do have the silver painted roof rails so if you do require a roof box or anything like that it's nice and easy to install Back down to the ground now, we can see some lovely active badging on both the front wings. We have uh, power folding and heated door mirrors. Look at that, that is very fancy. Look, I'm doing some magic. Not my first rodeo. At this stage of the video, I take a, uh, a step back and show you just how lovely all the bodywork is. So we have some big panels in this one. So I'm gonna start at the offside rear. I'm gonna get nice and high to it. And I'm just gonna shimmy the camera along the along the body light so it's just showing you how beautiful it all is and on my last shimmy i'll shimmy round to the offside rear wheel give you a good look at that and those of you that are interested we have rear discs on this vehicle so i mentioned earlier this vehicle is an eco blue vehicle what does that mean so next to your diesel filler cap you have this little cap called add blue and what add blue does and that is why this is a Euro 6.2 vehicle, because the Ad Blue is a solution that gets sprayed onto the exhaust gases, dulling it all down, making it a nice clean burn. So what comes out the back is very clean, good for the birds and the bees and the trees, well not good, but better for the birds and the trees and the bees and everything in between. Now we're at the offside rear, we're going to start to make our way around the rear of the vehicle. First point, under there. Space saver spare wheel. It's actually quite a big space saver, but spare wheel underneath there. All relevant tools and jacks you need are kept in this side there. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. We have rear parking sensors trailing along the bottom lip, and they are complemented beautifully with a high definition reversing camera. Have a nice Transit Connect badging there, nice active badging at the bottom. And now I'm at the near side rear, I'm going to give it the exact same treatment. So, once again, starting nice and high and shimmying the camera down the near side of the body there. So then we approach the near side rear wheel. Beautiful. 
and follow that all the way down to the near side front wheel okay so i'm going to do things in a slightly different order today i'm going to have a look inside the driver's seat for now right so we have a lovely seating arrangement we have a nice little clip here so this seat uh, let me talk about the seats quickly there are a lovely cloth material light gray with dark charcoal around the outside we have the active badging on the base and the back part there but very durable very comfortable as well okay so if i just fold the seat down i might go to half zoom for this gives you the full experience this then makes you able to pop open the bulkhead loading area so if you do have long bits of 4b2 going through the vehicle it gives you that extra length of storage unfortunately the apprentice has got to go for the day you've got a big job on the apprentice has got to go it gives you that extra bit of loading space throughout the vehicle so i thought i'd just show you that quickly uh, put on that one down to uh, raise the seat once more at uh, the front bit of the seat here pops open and that is where you have two usb a sockets that is 2.1 amp of charging and that folds down once more or we can put on this red tack um, we're gonna run out of hands here please excuse my video skills for a second it pull on that red tab then it folds down to be a table and drinks holder also very very nice indeed so that's inside the passenger side of this little connect okay first i need to unlock the vehicle that help after unlocking the vehicle i can open the near side entry door there and that shows you just how beautiful it is inside so again we've got the full size bulkhead there with your little flat well that's currently the passenger seat but that's where the flap is magnetically held the whole of the rear here is ply lined and it looks as good as new so if you're in the market for a ply lined connect this could be the one for you anyway stepping back quickly just stepping back we'll keep that door open and we'll come round to the rear now the beautiful trans the classic transit doors click on this button here we can have them open to show you 90 degrees like so it's like a, a right angle or if you did require more space when loading click this button inwards push the door all the way back and it opens 180 degrees like so so different variations of opening the door and i was just going to show you around the ply lining from the rear here again that looks beautiful very nice indeed so underneath this cover here i can just pull it off you for demonstration purposes only we have all the relevant tools and jacks needed to change the spare wheel keeping you and your business going in the right direction let me just go around and shut up some doors now Voila. Okay, so that is the body and that is the rear taken care of. Let's have a look inside the front of the vehicle. Opening the driver's door, we have two electric windows with mirror controls. That is the folding mirror control all on the door card. Next to the door handle is your interior locking. Looking back down at the vehicle now, we have some lovely active badging on the door sill. And again, the cloth interior continues for the driver's seat. This driver's seat is actually a heated seat also, so keep your bum nice and warm in those, co those cold winter months. Manually adjustable, so we have a front, we have a height adjustment, and a rear tilt there as well. I'm just gonna jump inside the vehicle. You might hear a bit of distortion on my microphone, so just bear with me for a second, please. Okay, let's return back to normal zoom. Being a, uh, a, a keyless, um, keyless start vehicle we have the engine start stop button there so foot down on the clutch push that button and that gains us power to the vehicle okay so normally at this stage i confirm the mileage which i've already seen at the top there flash up 186.2 miles okay this is your driver display going from left to right we have an rpm times 1000 gauge i'm gonna have to hold my hand there to cover it from the light a live video for you RPM gauge time 1000, we have a coolant temperature sensor and a fuel gauge at the bottom. The right hand side, a conventional analogue speedo with miles per hour around the outside and kilometres an hour in the middle. In the middle part there, that is a digital driver display. So in the digital driver display, we've got the mileage at the top, 186.2. We have trip computers, like for now we're looking at 39 MPG over the last 151 miles. If we come down, 
from there. So I've only got two hands, you have to bear me with the light. We have a My View there, so you can adjust that to your preference, whether that's going to be a digital speedo, we have a fuel economy, eco coach, and a calm screen there as well. Flick down, we can have all your audio, so your entertainment coming out of there. And we've got phone devices and back into your settings. So I was going to go into the driver assistance quickly and just show you around that. Oh, if I click the right button, my apologies. Let's just turn the aircon down a little bit, set to auto. So we have hill start assist and a rear park pilot, and that will come in handy in a minute. Let me tell you, I'll show you for why. So that's around the driver display. On the steering wheel, I'm going to lose the zoom. We have the arrows and OK button I was using to navigate through the screen. All of the cruise control is found at the bottom left hand side of the steering wheel so very easy to resume the session, set your speed, turn it on and off and set your limiter there in the middle. So if you're sitting on motorways all the time it's a fantastic addition cruise control because it's going to really improve your MPG. Keeping the revs constant is a very nice touch indeed. The right hand side of the steering wheel is where you'll find all of your media controls. If a previous and next song, a pick up and decline phone call and a volume rocker top and bottom. In the middle we have a voice command button where you can speak to the vehicle and ask it to do a range of things according to the screen. Those of you that are lucky enough to have a smartphone, but to be honest who doesn't have a smartphone anymore, this screen is fully supportive of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So there's many benefits of using that. First off, it charges your phone whilst you're driving along because it uses the USB-A data port. Second advantage is you can use your voice commands. So on Apple it's going to be Siri and Android it'll be Google Assistant and you can ask your assistant to do anything you like pretty much uh, whether it's set your navigation, play music, call home, play podcasts, check the weather, what's the football score but it keeps your hands off your phone whilst you're driving along which is very important. And the third and probably most relevant point for this vehicle, where we don't have sync navigation as standard on the screen, like you can see, that does enable you to use your navigation from your phone on the screen here. So if you're on Android, you can use your Google Maps, and Apple, you can use your Apple Maps. And the other third-party application everyone is loving at the moment is Waze. Waze, again, is usable on this screen. The rest of the screen is divided into your audio. So in audio, you have different sources, and they have FM, DAB and Bluetooth audio. Phone, again that's relating to your Bluetooth audio and we have different settings down the bottom there as well to set your preferences with. I mentioned earlier we have a rear park pilot so if I just pop the vehicle into reverse that demonstrates the high definition reversing camera with the proximity sensor for the rear parking sensors at the top right hand side of the screen. So that will give you a frequent beep that will intensify uh, as you're getting closer to the obstacle, obstacle, object, anything you want to call it. The rear park pilot also includes those lines. So as you can see as I'm turning the steering wheel, the lines will guide you in and out of any parking space. If you are planning to pop a tow bar on this vehicle, that black line in the middle will be essential to you fitting your trailer nice and easily. Going south from the screen once more, we have an excess of light unfortunately that there is a wireless charging pad so if your phone supports wireless charging place it in there and it will charge your phone in transit so I did that in transit in a transit van just below we have the air conditioning or heating ventilation and air conditioning controls this is a dual zone climate system so both sides of the cabin could be set to individual temperatures so if I turn it on quickly, like so, we can see we've got 15.5, 17 on the dash. But if I turn this knob, we can decrease one temperature whilst maintaining the other. So for example, if you did have a very hot passenger, uh, you can keep them nice and cool whilst keeping yourself nice and warm. A very nice feature. I mentioned before the driver's seat is a heated seat, a three-way heated seat. And just a quick tour around the bottom buttons, sorry. So we have a front demist, different circulations in the middle there. We have a recirc, we have a heated mirrors. There. I think that's nice to heat the mirrors up in the winter. And a max air conditioning at the bottom there. We have one here, which is the automated stop start on and off. We have one there to turn off the parking sensors. And one more to go into an eco drive mode. 
think I've covered about everything, apart from we do have another cup holder down there, along with a 12 volt socket for charging. I think after that, that's me just about done. But I will show you the roof because we have another storage section up here as well. And obviously your interior lighting. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it useful. Any other information you might need, give us a call. 01376 550 899. If not, please leave your comment below and we shall get back to you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and I shall speak to you soon.